Drawing the graph of an ellipse is fairly straightforward. It's actually pretty easy if you know how to take a look at an equation and identify the parts of the ellipse from that equation. Here, we're asked to graph the ellipse with the equation x minus 2 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. The first property of the ellipse that we want to identify using this equation is the center of the ellipse. The center of the ellipse has an x and a y coordinate that are the values subtracted from x and y respectively in the equation. Therefore, the x coordinate of the center of the ellipse is 2. That's the value that's subtracted from x in the equation. The y coordinate of the center of the ellipse, a little bit more complicated, you have to be a little more careful, it's actually negative 2. I could say that the value subtracted from y in the equation is negative 2 because y plus 2 is the same thing as y minus negative 2. The center of this ellipse from the origin is 2 units to the right, 2 units down, 2, negative 2 is the center of the ellipse. This is technically not part of the graph of the ellipse. x equals 2 and y equals negative 2 would not be a solution to the equation but it is an important property of the ellipse. Next, let's identify from that center the horizontal distance left and right, the number of units left and right, to the edge of the ellipse. And that value comes from the square root of the number below x. The horizontal distance from the center to the edge of the ellipse, from the center left and right, is the square root of the number below x. In this case, the number below x is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So two points that are on the ellipse are from the center, two units to the right, which would be the point 4, negative 2, and the point from the center, two units to the left, 0, negative 2. These two points are actually solutions to the original equation. They are two points on the graph of this ellipse. And the final piece that we need before we can draw the graph is the vertical distance from the center to the edge of the ellipse, the number of units up and down from the center to the top and bottom of the ellipse. And that, as you might suspect, is the square root of the number below y. In this case, that value is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. So from the center, I'll go up 4 units to find a point on the ellipse, the highest point on the ellipse in this case, and from the center, I'll go down 4 units to find another point on the ellipse, the lowest point on the ellipse. The bottom point, 2, negative 6. The top point, 2, 2. And I now have five points plotted on the coordinate plane. Remember, the center is not actually part of the ellipse, but the other four points are. So I'll join those four points with as smooth of a curve as I can. And that will represent the graph of the ellipse. Pictured here is the graph of the ellipse, x minus 2 squared over 4 plus y plus 2 squared over 16 equals 1.